Hello, this is Melody, the massage therapist, and this is Frank, and I'm going to read to Frank, The Legend of Pasquale the Pirate, by my friend Teo Blaine Baker. He wrote it, and he drew all the artwork in this book. So thank you, Teo, for this beautiful book. And Frank, are you going to listen? All right, Frank, here we go. Pasquale the parrot was a featherless bird. How he lost all his fill pillage is truly absurd. His feathers fell out when he happened to meet a most pungent aroma from a pirate named Pete. But the tale of Pasquale doesn't start here. For that, we must go back in time, just one year. Pasquale belonged to a young lad named Will, who lived on an island known as Smuggler's Hill. Young Will and Pasquale played most every day. Let's pretend to be pirates, they'd usually say. But at night, Pasquale dreamed of a life on the sea and being a real pirate as he dreamed he could be. One day, Fate stepped in and left his cage unlocked. Out the house he would fly to where the pirate ships were docked. With a last look at Will and a promise to write, he soared out the window and flew out of sight. And there lay a ship, fared by all, feared by all sons and daughters. Twas a dirty old tub, called the uncultured martyrs. The captain of the ship was a salty old guy, and he stared at Pasquale with his one weathered eye. So you want to be a pirate, the captain did howl. Tis a lot of hard work, he said with a scowl. You're up with the sun and you work long past dark. The life of a pirate is hardly a lark. But this bird was resolved to give his best shot. He squawked, give me a chance and I'll prove what I've got. I think Frank likes taking a bath more than listening. Sorry, Dale. The captain glared at the parrot and said, what the heck? Ye can start earning your keep by so wobbing the deck. So Pasquale, oopsie daisy, forgot to show the picture. So Pasquale found a bucket and one tiny mop and cleaned the whole ship from bottom to top. As part of the crew, this bird had no peer. They liked him so much, they even let him steer.
And then came the day when he finally did meet the smelliest of pirates they called Stinky Pete. And that was a day he would never forget. Not standing downwind was a choice he'd regret. The smell was so bad as it entered his nose. His feathers popped out and fell round his toes. The pirates all laughed at this uncommon sight. Pasquale had no feathers and couldn't take flight. But he stood his ground and brandished his saber and cried, You're laughing at me after all my hard labor? He was game to stand up to the entire crew. But the captain stepped in afore trouble could brew. Pasquale's family, he sure earned his keep. Quarrel with me, and it's into the deep. He covered Pasquale with a wee wooden barrel. He was a kind man, after all, this old Captain, Captain Barrow. The crew felt ashamed for poking such fun, and each one said sorry for what they had done. And that was the moment, as the legend does say, when Pasquale the parrot became a pirate that day. The moral of this story is, if you truly believe it, hold on to your dream. You might just achieve it. There is another story called The Ballad of Stinky Pete the Pirate. That was Teo's first book. And now this is a sequel. Anyways, have a happy day. I hope you're clean, Frank. Bye-bye.